What's going on? My name is Jay and in this video I want to show you how you can add a color picker to your website or your web app. So here you can see I'm at this simple beautiful page for this library called Pick R or Picker or whatever you want to say it. Um, and it's very simple. You can see it says tap it and you have a color picker. Very modern, very good looking. So they have three different themes. Um, we're going to be using the classic, but they have this one too. And they have this one too. And this one is it's very cool because it's very simple is small. So let's use the classic. I like it. We have all these options here, but how do we add this to our website and how we can change colors of things using this? So let me close this and let's go to my code. So right now, this is my website. It's just a very simple gallery. Um, I changed the headline here. I have some photos. So my goal is to change the background color. So you can see it's like a dark bluish color. I want to change it with that color picker. So I'm going to pick a color and change my background. That's what I want. So I have here another tab with the GitHub open and we're going to use it because we need some code. Um, but let's go ahead, scroll down. You can see you have the option to install the library using NPM or yarn. And then um, uh, you have the URLs on the CDN URLs. So this is what we're going to use because I want to keep it very simple. Um, right now here, you can see they have three themes. We're going to use the classic. So this is the CSS. I'm just going to copy it from here. So copy that. I'm going to go to my HTML code before my CSS. I'm just going to paste that CSS right there. All right. And here we need the library. So you can see they have two. They have modern and they have an ES5, which the modern is for modern, modern browsers, all the new cool code. And the ES5 is to support old browsers. Now the ES5 bundle is very heavy. It's going to be a lot slower. Just letting you know. So I'm going to use the modern one. Let's copy that. And I'm going to put it down here before my main JavaScript file, which right now is empty. I'm going to save that. So you can see here, my, my JavaScript file is empty but we're going to add some code there. I have some CSS here, very basic, simple. All right. So now we have the library there, but what do we do now? So let's go here. Let's keep scrolling down. And here you go. They're giving you some code to start um, the usage. So what we're going to do, we're just going to copy all this code and see what happens. So let's go to my main JavaScript file. I'm going to paste all that. I'm going to save it. And right now, what you can see is, um, is a variable car pick and then element. Um, this is the element that we're going to use for the little square thing that you can click and then the color pickle color picker will pop up. So, um, I'm going to leave it like that, um, that class. So I'm going to go back to my HTML and let's put it here below my headline. So I'm going to do color picker. All right. So it's a div with a class of color picker. I'm going to save that. I'm going to go back to JavaScript. The theme is a the classic one. Yes, that's what we want. And we have a bunch of options here that I'm going to, I'm going to remove some of them. So I'm just going to save it for now. All right. Let's see. Let's go back to the page. All right. So I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little square right here. Um, let's click it and voila, we have a color picker but right now. Yes, you can play with it. You can do all that, but it's doing nothing. It's not changing nothing in, on my website. Plus I want to change the location. I don't know. It, it's, it's kind of weird. Let's go ahead and click this. All right. Pick R. Let's put it inside a container that I think I have on my CSS. So pick our container. Let's close it here. 
All right, that's better. So my container, this pick our container is just centering my little thing right here. And that's better. Now it's dark, it's like a dark gray. I want to change that. Let's go to my JavaScript. And right here, I'm going to add an option. Default. And then a string can be like, a, let's put a white. Let's save that. There you go. Now it's white. Now we can see the color. So that's a lot better. Um, now all these swatches is all this that you see here. All these little things right here. All these colors right here. So let's just remove a bunch of them. I don't want to have like a lot. And let's put like a like a dark gray. You can use hex colors if you want to. Let's save that. And there you go. You have that dark gray. And you have more options here like converting it. Um, so let's just remove some of them. Let's leave the hex and the RGBA. I want to leave the input. And the safe and clear, actually, that's something very cool that you can do. Um, you can click save and you can do something. Maybe you want to save it on like a storage. Maybe you want to send it to your database. We're not going to do that, but the option is there. OK, let's save that. Let's go again. And there you go. Now we have you know a clean version of it. We have the input. We have hex RGBA. We have the save and clear button. We're not going to use it, so I'm just going to get rid of them. Save that again. And there you go. This is all I want. You can keep adding um, more colors in here. Let's add like a black. All right. Let's see if that works. Yep, there you go. We have like a gray and a black. All right, so you get the idea. You can keep adding stuff, removing here, depending on how you feel. Um, I'm going to keep all this opacity and all this so we can play with it later. So now what? Now we have this. This is done. But now how we can change something on the website, like an element, like the background color. I want to change the background color of my website. So let's go again here. Scroll down a little bit. You will see a bunch of events and there is an example of code and uh, there is a lot of different like save, clear, show, hide, change, change, stop, cancel, swatch, select. So the one that I want is the change one. That's when you're changing the color. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to copy all this. And I'm going to put it down here. So pick on actually let's save this. Let's let's test it. Let's see how it looks all this. Let's go ahead. Let's go to console here and you can see all oh, we already have something. We have an object, the init one, which is like initiating. And there's an object with a bunch of options and a lot of data. So I'm just going to click this. You can see the show with more data. And let's change and you can see changing the color will give you a lot of data every time you change something and then change stop. So this is what we want. We want to change the color every time we are like looking for a color. So great. I'm just going to remove all the things that I don't need. The only one that I need is change. Let's go ahead. Let's remove all this. Let's keep change. All right. So now we have pick our on change console log change color instance. Let's see how that looks. There you go. Now we have change and you can see if you click here, you have all the data, you have the color. So let's go ahead and console log the only the color. Click on it and there you go. Now, if I open this, you can see we have data. What I want to do is get the RGBA. So if let's go back to the GitHub. And if you scroll down, 
let's keep scrolling down. There's there's like a bunch of options here, but I want to scroll down a little bit more. All right, this is what I want. So you can convert that color to RGBA or to hex to CMYK. So let's go ahead and use this method color to RGBA. Let's save that. Let's go back. Let's see what's the difference here. All right, let's see what is this. And you can see it's an array of colors and this is the RGBA. So RGBA. Now, what I want to do is I want that, but I want it on a string because right now you have an array. So you need to create like a function to make sure that this, you can add something like this on your CSS in your website and all that. It's going to get complicated if you use this array, but they already have that. So if you scroll down here, it says RGBA to string. This is what I want. So let's copy that. Let's go here to string. So let's say that. Let's go again. Let's click. There you go. This is what I want. So it says RGBA, all the numbers of the R, G, B, and then the A, which is one right now. Now the, the one is 100%, but if I get here and play with this, you will see that it changed 0 0.4 Z A and zero. There you go. So you can see like a bunch of numbers here. This is because it's like very, very high precision. As you can see here, um, returns RGBA in with high precision, or you can actually put a number here and it will round that to a third decimal. But I'm good with the high precision. I don't have a problem with that. All right, so now that we have that string, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a variable, const, let's call it um, hex, um, I'm sorry, RGBA um, color. You can call it whatever you want. And this is gonna be all this. I'm just gonna copy and paste it. And let's console log colors to make sure that RGBA color. I'm gonna console log that. Let's remove this console log right here. So I'm, I just want to make sure it is working and the variable is correct and everything. Let's go ahead. Yep. All right, it's working. So now the next step is very simple. We need to get the background color, which right now is my body. Or you can select any element. It doesn't have to be your body. So I'm going to do document query selector. And here you can do whatever element you want to change, right? Um, maybe it's not the body, maybe it's like a container. So because it's my body right now, I'm just going to put body. Um, maybe I can change it later. And I'm going to go to style dot background equals to what? Equals to RGBA color. All right, let's save that and hopefully this works. Let's see. There you go. Yes. Amazing. Let me close this. Make sure this is working. All right. Let's use the opacity. Yep. Let's use this. Perfect. So that simple. So you can see um, you have the library, you have all the options. You can actually do a lot with this. This is just a very simple example. Um, a lot of people use this for like a dashboard to change um, color of buttons, color of your text, the whole text of your website. I don't know, whatever you want, there's a lot you can do here. Just get creative and that's it. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.